Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a special video, it is going to be a top 10 YouTube video. Basically I'll be going over different YouTube channels which I watch. Some of them will be big channels, they will be, well, they'll have subscribers in the millions. Some of them will be smaller YouTube channels will be, which will be in the tens of thousands and some of them will be very small YouTube channels which are in the hundreds. But this is my list, it's totally biased be my top 10 plus one or two uh, special mentions as well which will which haven't quite made the list but I, I will give them a, a mention. Basically the idea of this video was stolen from Sanjetsu's channel so I'm sorry Sanjetsu but I think it's a good concept and plus it's a chance for me to show other people, show people what I like and if you've never watched some of these YouTubers before you might be interested in their channel and you can watch it yourselves and hopefully you'll enjoy them as well. So that's basically it. So we'll crack on now with this video. So I hope you all enjoy and let's begin. Okay guys, so we'll start off with a special mention and it is to PewDiePie. Kind of a controversial choice, but I've chosen him because I really enjoy his content. That's basically why I, I've chosen him. He has some great Let's Plays on his channel. I've enjoyed The Last of Us, which you can see he got some DLC on his channel at the moment. I love his Wolf Among Us series and I also love his Walking Dead series. They're fantastic games and I just think he's quite entertaining. Now obviously there's the other side of that coin where people don't like him. They think that he is uh, money grabbing or you know whatever your views are on him. But personally, I, you know, being a YouTuber I understand the, the work that goes into making videos. I think he puts an awful lot of work into his videos. And you know, at the end of the day he is the most subscribed channel on YouTube. So it would be wrong of me not to give him a quick mention, I think. Um, you know, he's got loads of funny montages, which are really cool as well. Some scary moments and stuff. But yeah, he's basically a special mention. He's not in my top ten, but I had to give him a special mention because I do watch quite a lot of him. And yeah, that's it, basically. So we'll now crack on with the next choice. And here we have another special mention. This is to The Dude. He is a Total War YouTuber. He has some great content. He has a great mod going at the moment. It is the Divide at Empira mod. This is where I discovered the mod basically. He, ha he had a video on his channel with the Etruscan League and it was a pretty cool video. I suggest you watch it if you're interested in Rome Total War. But yeah, he got, he got 243 subscribers. If I click on his about page now, here we go. He has nearly 30,000 views. He doesn't have anything in his about page. <laughs> that was a bit of a fail, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, he's another special mention as well, the dude. So go and check him out. And now we'll start with the actual top 10. Okay, so number 10, we have Stiff Sir. I'm sorry if I can't pronounce your name, but that's the channel name for the Stiff Sir. He is a pretty new channel which I've come across. He is a Norwegian fellow who comments on a lot of my videos and I recently started watching some of his pretty cool content. He has 856 subscribers. He is another Total War YouTuber. He's a pretty awesome, i got to say, an awesome looking background here. Shogun 2 style background. Nice little reflection on the sword there of the, of the different samurai warriors. And his, his avatar is basically the logo for Empire Total War with the British flag in the background. He currently has a Napoleon Total War France campaign using Darth Mod. He has a Tosa Clan Darth Mod campaign for Shogun 2. And he also has a France campaign for Empire Total War using Darth Mod. Some of his popular videos, he has got a lot of Harry Potter stuff here if you're into your Harry Potter. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the running time as well. Three hours. That's, that's, that's dedication there, people. That's three and a half hours. Five, nearly six hours there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty pretty dedicated and he's got loads and loads of channel views on there as well. So number 10 we have this this young gentleman here, Stiff Sir. Okay so number 9 we have Mighty Mickey Do. I have to say I love his background again, FIFA background, he does a lot of FIFA stuff so if you're into your football then it's a pretty good channel to go to. He's a fairly new channel, he has 49 subscribers, going pretty strong at the moment. He has FIFA 14, FIFA Ultimate Team player reviews. He got one for Higuain, Tevez, Van Persie, Rooney, Thiago. He has a Suarez Road to Glory uh, campaign going on here. Episode 1 uploaded six days ago. Some popular videos he's done as well. He's got some comparisons for which are better. 
Xbox One, PS4 exclusives, what to choose, Xbox One or PS4. Um, and he also has a Southampton career mode, which I've been watching closely. Pretty cool career, pretty awesome to watch. So if you're into FIFA, then this is a pretty good channel to go to. So Mighty Mickey Do is number nine. Okay, so we have number eight, and it is in fact Sun Jets to himself, the man that gave me the idea to do this video. Basically, I was number eight on his video, so I thought number eight would be a pretty good place for him. He's a Total War YouTuber, but I actually like some of his other videos away from Total War. He does some good vlogs and some good kind of videos where he talks about different things with gaming and movies and stuff. One of them in particular which I enjoyed was his Nintendo 64 video, which he made a couple of months ago on his channel. And basically, he compared um, the, all the different consoles which Nintendo brought out, and his idea was that Nintendo could uh, compete with PS4 and an Xbox One with a brand new console using all the best features from the previous con consoles that Nintendo used. So it would be GameCube, uh, Nintendo 64 and the Wii U and it would be called a um, Wii Cube 64. Pretty cool idea, uh, really thinking outside the box, pun intended of course. <laughs> and yeah, but he has some great machinima videos as well on his channel. Uh, here we go, got one by here four days ago. Uh, nearly 300 views. Attack on the Titan Machinima. And it looks like he's using the uh, one of the mods to get the giant uh, Roman soldiers. Pretty cool. Got some pretty cool ideas. Here we go, another one back here. Look, Giant uh, Wars Mod 1. <laughs> well, part 1 for the mod. Slow mod. Slow motion fighting, I should say. But yeah, he got some pretty cool and very unique videos on his channel. And Sanjetsu is my number 8. And here we have number seven, and it is Volound. Volound is a Scottish YouTuber who used to do Total War videos, but unfortunately, because of the the release of Rome 2 and the way he felt about the game, he hasn't recorded any more Total War videos since. But he's a very unique YouTuber. I had to have on my list. If you're looking for a YouTuber to play on legendary difficulties with all sorts of... Um, hits to your economy, like having the taxes up on very high um, and having rebellions pop up all over the place and this is the YouTuber you want to watch. His Takeda campaign is world class and I'm saying that it really is world class. You're going to have to watch it. Um, he has some other great content on here as well. He's been uploading a lot of DayZ stuff at the moment. He's got uh, a co-op campaign with uh, his friend Cosmic Contrarian where they play Dead Rising 3 and I should quickly go through some of his playlists. He has some Rome 2 there. He actually competed in the Scan and Intel Invitational Rome 2 tournament back in, I think it was October, a month after release. And he actually came on rep. He lost to the Prussian Prince in the final. Um, but he, he gave a fantastic, um, fantastic battle throughout the competition. One of them in particular, the semi final against Point Man, that was another uh, masterful display where he picked Parthia and completely obliterated Point Man. If you've never watched it and you're a Total War fan, he is a much must watch uh, YouTuber. So, Volound is number seven. Okay, so we have number six on this list, and it is Cosmic Contrarian. He is a Scottish YouTuber like Volound. They're good friends in real life, I believe, and they do a lot of co op together. Cosmic Contrarian currently got a Skyrim series going on on Legendary Difficulty. And it, I've watched the first three episodes, and I must say it is fantastic to watch, and it certainly helped me with my. Skyrim campaign thus far. Um, he used to do Total War the same as Volang but has also stopped uploading Total War videos. I don't know whether they will do any more in the future. It'd be great if they do because I think they're a credit to the community for the way they play the tactics involved. And the thing is with both these YouTubers, Volang and Cosmic Contrarian, they both use legendary difficulty or the highest possible difficulty on whatever game they play. Um, I've picked Cosmic Contrarian as number 6 ahead of Volang mainly because I find Cosmic Contrarian a little bit more light-hearted in his commentary and whereas, whereas Volound, he's a bit more uh, tactical, you know, it's all about the tactics and the strategies where, Vol where Cosmic Contrarian will have a bit more fun when he's playing the campaign and I like people that have fun in their campaign so that's why I've picked Cosmic Contrarian. Okay, so we have number five and it is in fact Lord Rexor. He is a Total War YouTuber, but he also does a lot of grand strategy games. Now, on his channel, I believe there's two people that actually are on this channel. One of them is called Matt, and the other one is called Paul. And as you can see here, they've got Dark Souls, they have 
Crusader King 2 tutorials, King Arthur. I also learned that the F in the playlist means it's finished. Uh, the C in the playlist is current. So it's quite easy to distinguish what they're currently playing and what they're finished. Like the Crusader Kings 2 Old Gods Duchy of Greater Poland is finished. So if you're to Grand Strategy, this is a good channel to watch. I'm, to be honest, I'm not totally into Grand Strategy, but I am kind of learning the ropes, trying to find out a bit more about it. I have Crusader Kings 2 and I have played it a few times with a couple of mods as well. And yeah, he does some vlogs, some pretty cool vlogs. He's got a Valentine's Day vlog, but they, it's pretty funny. Um, popular uploads got Rome Total Realism, uh, Carthage Campaign One. And look at that, two years ago. So he's been on on YouTube for a while now. Two years ago, King Arthur. So yeah, Lord Rex I saw is my number five. Number four is Elite Wolf ninety eight. He's a good friend of mine. He's been on YouTube for a few months now, and he has one hundred and sixty three. Uh, subscribers. He does a lot of Total War stuff. He's actually got me in his feature channel, so thank you very much. He's in my feature channel as well. And those thumbnails were there. Very sexy thumbnails for Donald Amroth. I actually made them for him. But I'm plugging my, myself for you, so <laughs> ignore me. But anyway, Elite Wolf 98 He's a great YouTuber. He has popular uploads here of uh, custom battle cinematic of Bactria vs Pontus. And that was him covering the Bactria DLC. He's got a benchmarking video for Battlefield 4. Pretty good if you're into Battlefield 4. He's got over a thousand views. Pretty popular. He's got two uh, Third Age campaigns. He's got one with uh, the Shadow of called the Shadow of Mirkwood, and one with Divide and Conquer Principality of Dal, Dal Amroth. Um, he's got loads of Rome 2 stuff. So this is recent uploads here. He's got Skyrim as well. Got loads, loads of variety. Some loads of uh, great campaigns coming on. Got some cinematics and machinimas in a in a playlist here. So if you're into your machinimas again, like Sanjetsu, uh give Elite Wolf of ninety eight a chance. He's got some good uh machinimas and montages and cinematics. Uh, he's also got a co op campaign with me as well, but um I'm quite busy at the moment actually, so it's kinda of difficult to try and try and fit that in, but hopefully we'll get some more for that campaign. That campaign is actually uh, Shogun to oh, well actually Fall of the Samurai. So yeah, but Elite Wolf 98 is my number four. Number three, and we have Alex the Rambler. He is a great, great YouTuber in my eyes. I enjoy his videos. I have done for, uh, I'm trying to think how long I've been watching him. Um, probably a year, probably about a year I've been watching him now. And he's a great YouTuber, great speaking voice, great commentary as always. Um, live streams, I love his live streams. He does them on a Friday usually. And they're pretty entertaining. You usually get a group of guys watching them as well. Um, his loyal subscribers, but 10, 12 of us usually. Um, I, I join in whenever I can with some of the comments and stuff. And it's pretty cool. It gets pretty gets pretty insane actually sometimes. But um, enough about the, the live streams. Alex the Rambler. So he's a Total War YouTuber. Um, he's also got some other content on here. Like he got the Hegemony Rome, the Rise of Caesar, which is a early access campaign, which he's currently doing on his channel. He recently hit the 3,000. Oh, look at this. He actually got 3,664. He's grown pretty fast. It was only probably about a month ago that he hit the 3,000 mark. So it's insane how quickly he's he's growing. He has a Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer campaign with the Land of Bree and the Shire, which is pretty cool. Sending hobbits to their death, as always. And he has a Total War Room 2 co-op campaign with none other than Lionheart so um, pretty cool he, um, got Rome as Alex Ramble is Rome and Lionheart is the Averni it is a pretty awesome campaign and because both of them are UK based they are able to do it fairly often as well so that's pretty cool to the fans of both those channels so Alex the Rambler is my number three number two is Angry Joe probably a controversial choice but I do watch quite a lot of Angry Joe. I love his reviews. Um, he, I find that he gives a fairly honest opinion on most of the games he reviews. That helps me when it comes to purchasing games. He's usually one of the first sources I go to to look at reviews and previews of games. He currently has a uh, first impressions uh, video of the Elder Scrolls Online, so I'll definitely be watching that once I made this video. He has top 20 anticipated games of 2014. Unfortunately he suffered some uh, copyright issues with some of the videos and some of the content used in those videos and that's kind of halted his channel over the past few months. 
but hopefully that will all get sorted soon so Google sort your shit out <laughs> and um, but yeah I find that his videos are great I watch a lot of his videos he got some cool movie videos as well um, and plus it's great to see games which he doesn't like that much like for, well for instance I'll give you a good example by here on his angry reviews he has Total War Rome 2 game close to my heart probably close to many of your hearts as well and it had a bad re it had a bad uh, release it was unfortunately um, pretty hard as a fan to kind of watch the game it basically gets uh, shit on by the public and the people on the forums and all these videos and made criticizing it and basically Angry Joe made this video here which has uh, nearly one and a half million views and he kind of you know he, he did kind of um, shit on the game I suppose but you could see that he was a loyal fan in the process he wasn't just somebody to come along and just played this game thought it was crap and then you know left it at that he he kind of gave his honest opinion he took he took us through this uh, his journey with the Total War series the games he previously played and the fact that you know I think he gave Shogun 2 only a few years ago when that was released a 9 out of 10 um, Total War Rome 2 I think he gave it a 6 out of 10 so I think that's a pretty fair reflection on release it's definitely a bit better now since the patch in but you know he gave an honest view on a game which he you'd, you'd expect him to be biased on but he gave an honest view and I thought it was a great video and that's Angry Joe number one is Lionheart anybody that knows me probably knows I would have picked Lionheart as number one he is my favorite youtuber he is a Total War youtuber and as you can see on his very nice channel banner he has number one UK Total War channel because that what he is, that is what he is he has nearly 65,000 subscribers and it's insane how many subscribers he's gained over the past few years I started watching him when he had about I think it was three to four thousand subscribers that's when I first came across his channel I came across the channel and noticed he had an Empire Total War campaign going on it was his Greece campaign I think it was and unfortunately he wasn't able to finish it because he had some glitches and some problems with the game the same with uh, his Portugal and Denmark campaign on Empire Total War but they were pretty cool campaigns to watch and I just I just watched a video instantly fell in love with the video and with him as a commentator uh, not gay love of course that would be a bit weird but you know what I mean <laughs> and I, you know you know, with some people if you enjoy the videos you just keep watching them and watching them and basically as go on whole I was going on whole playlists of his and just watching them from beginning to end. That's how much I enjoyed his videos, and it's insane. He has so many. He's grown so much in the past few few years. He has his Cobb campaign with Alex the Rambler, who was my number three choice. He has a Harad campaign for Third Age Total War. Um, he has Sparta, Iceni, and Rome for his. Uh, Total War Rome 2 campaigns. He also has a Caesar and Gold single player campaign. He got an Elves of Lorien campaign. Look at all these Total War campaigns. It is insane. So much content. Empire Total War, Darth Mod, Great Britain. He has his, his co op with uh, Air of Carthage. Um, he has loads. Basically, he has loads. He has online battles. Basically, everything you, you could ask for in a Total War YouTuber you have on this channel. And. I think a good way to finish this video would be to let me know why he basically inspired me because I'm a YouTuber as you know and I started in March of 2013 last year and basically it was because of him he, uh, he inspired me I thought myself well you know if I could perhaps upload a few videos and see if they get viewed and and so forth that would be great and, and I'm, you know, I'm very happy with how my my channel has uh, come out, how it's evolved and grown a little bit in the past few months. And I think that's down to you know, watching his videos as much as I have and just basically trying to pick up things which he's done. Um, as well as Alex the Rambler as well and other Total War YouTubers, you've all um, attributed to my channel in, in one way or another. And I have to thank you all for that because I think it's the best way for this kind of uh, community to... Uh, merge together and so forth but yeah <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore but yeah Lionheart is my number one and thank you for watching this video